Hi everyone, this is Mary at Northwest Sewing Center. I'm here with Judy. This week, uh, Judy has some extra tips again with the peel and stick. She's monogramming mask. And okay, so here we are at the Luminaire. We're gonna do um, some a name and a monogram on the parts of a mask. And I'm using peel and stick. And I'm also, because I mentioned I'm on the Luminaire, because we have the projector on it, we can see exactly where I'm gonna go on these two pieces of fabric. The fabric is interfaced with some shirt tailor. It's pressed down on the peel and stick. You can see that we've got it open up and we're gonna start now. Okay, so now we've finished embroidering the two small pieces. And you'll notice when we go to take it off that all we've really used is this tiny little piece of peel and stick right here. And we've got two pieces like that. And that's all that we've used. Now the really cool thing about peel and stick is that we can turn around now, cut a small piece of it. Gotta get it loose. And we're gonna put the sticky side up on the back. And that is really gonna reseal our stabilizer. This means you don't have to waste a lot of peel and stick re refilling your hoop for something that just takes a little bit of space. Put that here, and press that down a little bit. I'm gonna press it more here. We're gonna take two new pieces of fabric, press them down right through here, and you would have, these would also be um, stabilized, interfaced with some shirt tailor. You just kind of line them up like that. We're going to put it back in the hoop. And we will go back to projector. And it shows that we're a little bit off, so now we can adjust this. And look, they're lined up again, and we can start again. With these pieces, is this this is the half, the front half of the mask, and you can I've started with a straight edge here, so we can put the lower edge of the pattern on it, and you cut out that shape. You're going to cut another one out of a piece of fabric that is not embroidered, and on the inside, the same thing, like this. Actually, it goes this way, and when you're done, they're stitched together the front and the back, and you wind up with a casing over here and you have a mask and it's already looks like a school uniform. Thanks again, Judy, for and everybody for joining us for this week's tip of the week.